Welcome! There's exciting news in the world of Lifter LMS and Elementor. Lifter Elements has recently released, and that allows you to integrate Lifter LMS uh, with Elementor in a way that you weren't able to do previously. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the template feature of the new plugin, but there are many other features and uh, widgets it adds to Elementor, and I'll make future videos breaking down each one of those and some cool things you can put together. Uh, but in this video, I'm just going to work on this sample site and show you how you can use templates on Lifter LMS lessons. Uh, what a template will allow you to do is say that you want all of your lessons to look like this. And you can build whatever this is with Elementor now. So uh, the plugins that are required to do this is just Lifter LMS, Elementor, Elementor Pro, and the tangible Lifter Elements integration there. I'm currently working with Astro Pro, but you don't need to work with Astro Pro to make this work. Any theme should be good to uh, make this happen for you. So what we're going to want to do is head into the theme builder. But before I do that, I'm going to show you kind of what I'm editing. So if I head to my courses here, I already have a sample course created. Let's head in here and head into one of my lessons. So we can see that this is what Lifter LMS outputs by default. You know, you have the sidebar. It just takes whatever the video is and puts it right here. And then I have some lesson content here and then, you know, this mark complete button. This is what it looks like out of the box. And if I edit my lesson, uh, we can see kind of what's displaying here. Um, so we have the, you know, the title displaying at the top. My content is here. And then it's taking the video from right here and just putting it on the top. So what we're going to want to do is use Elementor to make a template for all lessons so we can style it up however. So now that you kind of see what Lifter LMS looks like out of the box, let's see what we can do with Elementor. So under templates, I'll want to click on add new. This should take us to the add new template area. We're going to want to hit this drop down on select, click on single, and then hit this drop down and click on lesson. I'm just going to call this test lesson template and create my template. So the first thing we're going to want to do is X out of this pop up here, <clears throat> but then uh, we can see down by publish, there's a little arrow here called save options. I'm going to want to click on that and then head to display conditions. This is how we say, you know, where do you want this template to display? And we can set up all sorts of intricate conditions like, um, you know, include post with this tag or all sorts of fancy stuff. But in this tutorial, I'll show you how to do all lessons. So it does populate automatically here since we said lessons. But what I want to do is select lessons and all lessons and say save and close. So whatever is on this template is what is going to display on all of my lessons. And if I head back to the front end, let's go check out a lesson and see what happens. So it should just be blank because this template here, there's no, there's no content in here yet. So all of my lessons now should just be blank, just the header and footer. Uh, but now what we want to do is head in there and actually add in the content. So uh, you saw Lifter LMS was pulling in the video and putting it right on top and then it was pulling in the content and it was automatically doing all this stuff. But what we want to do is say, I want my title to go here. So what we'll do is add a heading. So we'll say heading. I'm just going to drag that in over here and say, add my heading. So if I just say, you know, lesson one, um, you know, title, and then I update and then I go look at my lesson, we'll see what happens. It says lesson one title there, and it's going to say that on all of my lessons, but um, not every lesson is lesson one. So how do we, you know, get around that? What we can do is say dynamic. So rather than typing in manually, what is going to be said here, we're going to head to dynamic and we're going to say post title. So whatever the post title is, is going to go right there. So if I go ahead and leave it at post title, it's just going to populate a preview here, but I'll just update and actually view the lesson. This one should be called quiz settings. Oh, look at that. So it automatically populated the word quiz settings in there because that's the title of the lesson. And that's what we're going for. So that each lesson is going to take whatever the title is and put it right here. And the cool thing about this now is that you can style it up with Elementor however you want. You know, if you want to center align it or do whatever you want, that can um, automatically populate on every lesson like that. So now that we have the title established, what we'll want to do is maybe um, a lot of courses have, uh, you know, a video on it. So if you want to display the, um, whatever the lesson video is, just right under the title, we can do that very easily with the lifter elements. We'll scroll all the way to the bottom 
and we should have the lesson video. So there's a course video, but we're looking for a lesson video. We're going to drag this in. Cool. So it's letting me know we don't have any content here because we're working on a template, but it'll take whatever that lesson video is that Lifter was previously just putting right on top, and it's going to put whatever that video is right here. So if I go ahead and update, head to my, my template over here, I'm going to reload, and now it took whatever my featured uh, video link is, and it's going to put it right here. Um, I'll show you once more in case you're confused as to what's being pulled right here. We can see um, I typed in my title, quiz settings, and the Elementor template says whatever the title is, put it here. So that's where that's coming from. And then we have the video coming in. The video is video embed URL. That's where the video is coming from, right there. So um, if you don't have a video in there, it'll just be blank. So if I just uh, you know cut that one out and I update my lesson, let's see, there it goes. And then I reload, we should just have a, a blank lesson there. Like it just doesn't include the video. But then if I put that video back, uh, my Elementor template says whatever the video is, put it right there. So then I'll reload and now my video is back. So that's how you can populate the video and title. Uh, but what we'll want to do is also populate some more stuff. And um, you can play around with all of the Lifter LMS elements down here. There's all sorts of things you can incorporate. But the main one I'm going to look for now is the back to course button. So I'll just put a button right there, back to course button. And you can see this is what Lifter LMS did out of the box. It had this button right at the very top, and it's the Lifter LMS render. But I want to actually do a custom button. That's going to allow me to uh, say, um, you know, what I want this button to look like, what I want it to say. So I'd like the button to say back to course. And then um, uh, that's pr pretty much good for me, but if you know you want to center align it and then head to styling and do all sorts of styling there, you can. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and update. And now every single one of my videos, or every single one of my lessons, is going to have this back to course button. And that's going to take me back to my course page here. And this creates a nice user experience. If you have you know, the syllabus on the course page and then the, uh, the back to course button on every lesson page, they can easily go back and forth. So if I head to any one of my lessons, I'll have the title here, whatever the video is here, and the back to course button. So I head back to my course, and it's going to work the same way for all my lessons now because I said display conditions, display on all lessons. So that's why this is uh, displaying like this on every single one of my lessons. And uh, you know you can go uh, to the moon and back from here. You can add whatever you'd like in there. If you want some general text or any element or elements can now be added to every single lesson you have. And yeah, that about wraps it up for this tutorial. Um, this is a very advanced uh, topic of you know working with templates on lessons and courses and stuff. Uh, so feel free to watch the video you know a couple of times and experiment with templates on your website and head in there and just make a lesson template and try uh, everything out. And uh, you can see actually I did the same thing on courses. So if I head back to course, uh, you can see this is actually a template too. It's just rather than display on all lessons, I did display on all courses. So I'll actually edit this real quick and show you. Um, it's the exact same thing I just showed you, but rather than doing lessons, I did courses. And you know, I used the course continue button that I found at the bottom there, and then I used the syllabus one I found at the bottom, but it's the exact same concept I just uh, shared with you about lessons, can also apply to courses. Um, feel free to let me know in the description, or not the description, but the comments, if you have any ideas for videos you want to see. I'll be creating a lot more videos around Lifter Elements, and uh, this template is actually going to be available. It's not available yet, but it should be, uh, you know, within the next week here. If you want to use this template as a jumping off point for your website, uh, you will have that available for you. So yeah, this has been Will Middleton from WP Course Guide. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.